What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Bee Gees. And once again, shout out to Amy for sending me Odessa, as well as Kim for sending uh, Mr. Natural, as well as Amy for sending uh, Size Doesn't Matter, and for Lisa sending a great many um, releases by them, including Horizontal, which we've already gone through. So, as well as to Adam, I apologize, Adam, if you see this. Uh, you got us started with the Timeless uh, compilation. So ultimately, um, this is and remains uh, one of the most um, multi-contributor uh, deep dives. So, uh, which I think is telling, like, you know, it's just a small little detail, but I think it's telling to the degree to which they have um, a lot of widespread appeal, appeal among people who I know, you know, are interested in some different things on my channel. So. Um, yeah, it seems like uh, music lovers of different kinds will eventually, in some way, find their way to the Bee Gees. So, yeah, we're back with Odessa, which is 1969, and the next tune is You'll Never See My Face Again. Wow. It sounds like a promise, which could also be a threat. It could be a more, let's say, um, emotionally neutral promise, just a simple factual statement, but it suggests that the person who is being spoken to has known this face, has spent time with this face, and by extension this person, and therefore there's some significance to the other person leaving. There's, you know, you don't announce something that has relatively little impact or, you know, no one will really care about. So to state, to declare that you are um, going to be not visible, you're not going to be around anymore, um, again, it might be um, a more emotionally heavy statement. I suppose it could be, you know, um, cathartic to the speaker that like, you know, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm done with this. I can't deal with this anymore. So um, a lot, as always, left up to um, speculation. But I do enjoy the, the intensity of the title. It seems like there's some break, some severing of a connection that's going to take place. So let's see what I can catch on a first listen. This is Bee Gees. The track is You Will Never, is it You'll? Or, yeah, You'll Never See My Face Again from their 1969 album Odessa. Every single word has been spoken. It's much too late to change the ways We're at the end of the line Far too many vows have been broken You can't expect a soul to stay here You think that you can stand there It took a thousand years to find out why You'll never see my face again I was going to come on the strings and it does that You know that you've been left before this night It's come my turn to make it over I wish that everything was colored white I wish that I could be a rover You think that you can stand and laugh took a thousand years to find out why Why you never see my face again Every single word has been spoken 
It's much too late to change the way it is. But too many vows have been broken. You can't expect a soul to stay. Looks like a little laugh flourish. You'll never see my face again. The sonic environment of this tune. Alright. enjoy trying to follow their lyrics and again shout out to the folks who help fill in the pieces that um, I don't catch uh, this one seemed more or less straight away but the point I'm making is that like you know they're famous for their vocals absolutely and this is another example of you know there's some moments where it's really rich and it just sort of hits you right and there's a moment where it sounded like one voice split into two and it was like suddenly you know this great harmony but it seemed to grow out of the single um, vocal lead. Uh, so again, so many things that I think they're rightly um, known for are on clear display here, but it's like going into this deep dive, I had a sense that, you know, the few songs I was familiar with, uh, Too Much Heaven may be better than any other, the musical production on that track is crazy. So I was aware that like, you know, at least in the few tunes I was familiar with, um, they can really make a compelling sonic environment for those vocals and for those lyrics. It's just another example. It's like the rich strings, and right as I go to comment on them, they flourish in this really fantastic way. And the guitar work, which was again layered by the end and very like forte and driving in some sections, there was moments where it was like I thought it was a keyboard, maybe there was a flute in there, I think there was some xylophone. It's you know. There's artistry beyond the artistry for which they are perhaps most celebrated. So, again, another track which seems to get right at that reality. Um, and lyrically, and I'm back. So, yeah, apparently I was not allowed to talk about the lyrics, though I did talk about them for a couple minutes, but I'm back to perhaps do that in a slightly more concise way. But, yeah, lyrically it sounded like what I expected, but, you know, a bit more... I don't know, caustic than I was thinking, the idea that he's had enough. It sounds like there's been a lot of breaking of vows, a lot of um, misdeeds. I think maybe an implication that in both directions, but certainly a suggestion that more so by the other person, because the idea, like, how can you expect me to stay, it seems to suggest wrongdoing on the part of the other, and you have no friends, well, that would seem to suggest that the person who's behaving in a certain way, you know, they're the ones who doesn't get it, or at least they don't seem to care, whereas, you know, over time, um, they hurt those that uh, are involved with them. So, yeah, uh, it seems like a, a final severing of the connection, but... Again, the idea of like, you know, like how you think you can laugh at me, I'm laughing at you because you have no friends. And it took me a thousand years to realize that. It took, that part of it um, took me a bit by surprise. So I like the way the, uh, the tune played out narratively. And yeah, ultimately, when we come back next time, we will be up to Black Diamond, which um, makes me think of skiing, even though I don't actually do it myself. Uh, nevertheless, we'll see what that's about when we come back. Once again, shout out to Amy for sending the CD. Let me know what you think of the tune, and I will see you then. Peace.